In this video, we're going to be combining Starbucks and the Airbnb logo, Adidas and the Android logo, and then the Gucci and the Instagram logo. So make sure you stick around to the end. So starting off with Starbucks and Airbnb, I got my vector versions of the logos and then started pulling them apart in preparation to combine them. The concept here was to put the woman from the Starbucks logo in the sort of abstract alien head shape that is formed on the inner loop of the Airbnb logo. So once the crown was on, that was the easy bit. And now it was time to put the mermaid tail and fins on. And the idea was to rework the mermaid tail to be in the shape of the Airbnb A. So I wish there was an easy way to draw out this tail and um, I could just tell you that, oh yeah, you just do this in Illustrator, but no, this was just pain with the pen tool. Um, but then once I had the tail looking roughly how I wanted it, it was time to add the textured stripes. Now I tried to do this a clever way by drawing one of the stripes, duplicating that down, um, and then drawing another spline and then using the blend tool. But I couldn't get that to work how I wanted it. It looked like it was going to take more time to mess around with that to try and get the exact look I want rather than individually positioning them. So there I was back with the pen tool, drawing out another shape and then duplicating that down manually. So once I was happy with the right hand side, it was a case of just copying and pasting it, pressing O on the keyboard, clicking and dragging from right to left to flip it over, and then just repositioning that over on the left to make a mirror image of the right hand side. A little bit of fannying around just to get the fins looking perfect, and then making sure them fins just touch just lightly, just lightly. At this stage in the process, I'm using a white rectangle just to hide that Airbnb logo, like the original behind the fins. But of course, when it comes to actual production, when they obviously gonna put this into full-time production, um, I will go through with the Pathfinder or the Shape Builder tool and remove that. Okay, so now we had the mermaid tails looking pretty good and we've still got the Airbnb general shape. It was time to add the Starbucks lady's face back into that weird alien loop that we've got in the middle there. So at first I tried putting the face in red within the white gap inside the Airbnb shape but it looked like some sort of weird mask was on there. So it was pretty clear to me that I was gonna to have to fill that area up with red and then have the face sort of like white out or cut out of the red area. A little bit of plastic surgery for the woman's face just so we can retain that Airbnb shape, just so that I could retain the looping nature of the Airbnb and it all flowed nicely. Next, needed to add a little bit of hair. So I just grabbed the hair from the existing Starbucks logo and then just did a little bit of work with a pen tool. I didn't like how close the hair was to each other and I wanted to make that gap more uniform so I added a stroke onto that and then I expanded the stroke and then just used the shape builder tool to cut that out and make that look like a nice flowing graphic that looks comfortable there rather than looking like something that had just been stuck on. So when it comes to the typography the font that I have used here is called Inter and if you look, you can see that the A doesn't look like the Airbnb logo, but when I highlighted that A in this font, it offered me an alternative that looked pretty much the same as the Airbnb logo, so that was lovely. In terms of naming, it came down to two things. It was either Airbucks or Star B, &B. So here they are, here are the two options. We've got Airbucks in the pink and Star B, &B in the green. Let me know what's your favorite in the comments. Let's move on to the next one. I know exactly what you're thinking. What would happen if you combined the Adidas logo and the Android logo? Well, you're about to find out. Let's get it. I looked at the bottom of the Adidas icon and I realized that that's a similar sort of shape to the Android icon. So I thought we'll swap that bottom bar for the Android icon and see how we go, see what we get. It didn't look bad, but I wanted to add a little bit more of that original Adidas branding down in the bottom section. So I added a little tail on the center point of the Android man's upside down head. If you look at the bottom part of that Adidas logo, it's actually made up of three different sections and I wanted to incorporate that in the Android section. So I took the center point, flipped that around, made that like a spike on the top of his head. And then I took the two outer points of the Adidas, like the bottom section of the Adidas logo, swapped the Android's original antennae for them. And that made quite a distinctive look. And I liked the fact that we got the Android head, but we still used the original bottom parts of the Adidas logo. So next up, it was to look at the typography and the name, of course. For this option, I came up with the idea of Andy Das. Original, I know. And I fiddled a little bit more with this one, but I'll show you the finished product in a minute once I've shown you the other option as well, so you can compare them. 
So the idea for the second option was to keep the Adidas logo pretty much exactly as it is and use it as if it's a bush in front of the Android icon itself. Or leaves, bush, I don't know. I didn't like the black touching the green so I had to use a stroke on that black area and fill the middle with white so that it gave the separation. I don't like it when two different colors touch each other in a logo because when you have to turn that into a single color logo it just very rarely works so you're better off putting some separation between the two um, and it just makes a more versatile logo. A little bit more fiddling around with the space in here just to make it visually look pleasant to my eyeballs. And then typography for this one. I'm using the font Century Gothic which is pretty close to the original Adidas logo and for the name we're going to go with Adidroid. So here are the two final options, let me know what your favourite is in the comments. For our third and final logo combination today it is Gucci and Instagram. Started by grabbing the logos from the internet as always. So although I had the Instagram logo, what I actually wanted to do in this combination is have the Instagram app icon. Now if you ever need to do an app icon for um, like iOS, Apple, the formula you need to know is the height and width is obviously a square so that's the same, but the rounded corner diameter needs to be one quarter of the height and width um, and then that's how you get it to look perfect because there's nothing worse than when people do a mock up. And then they get the proportions of something wrong and it just makes it look amateur. So that's just a little easy trick for you one quarter, 25%, 0.25 is the diameter of the corners. Now from here it was as simple as swapping the Gucci logo out for the Instagram logo and then getting a gradient in that blue background. I Believe it or not I don't know the Gucci hex codes off by heart so I had to go on something called the internet and find a Gucci graphic that I can eyedropper the red, green and black from. Click on our app icon and then go into gradient and then use the freeform gradient which allows you to have these individual nodes which you can select a color to. The idea was that we were going to swap the colors, the blue, the purple, the pink, the red, the yellow, the orange, the madness that is the Instagram logo and we're going to convert them to the Gucci colors which is the red, the black and the green. And then I just basically fiddled around with this freeform gradient until it looked similar to the Instagram logo but not exactly the same but trying to make it exactly the same was never going to work because it's different colours. It was all by eye, there was no math to this just to give us a nice balance of black, green and red. Now if I'm being completely honest I don't actually like how this one turned out but then that doesn't mean that it's not good because it's like when a decorator goes into someone's house they don't necessarily have to like the colour that they're putting on someone's walls or the decorations that they're putting up they're just doing it they're here to do a job and also another thing that I've realised is that there's a lot of things that I don't like that people really like such as Star Wars and magic and dragons and like mythical stuff and I absolutely hate it but it doesn't mean it's not good to some people so let me know what you think of this one in the comments. I am intrigued.